So, we have a wasp nest on my car. That's how long the thing's been sitting, and that's kind of disappointing to me. Uh, we're going to try to get the thing moving today, maybe. Let's just hope that we don't have any more wasp nests that I have to take out later. Get some! Oh, I'm a little guy hanging out there. Oh, not a little guy hanging out there. Anybody else want to suffer under my wrath? It's a big nest. Well, it was a big nest. Luckily, I'm going to be repainting the back half of this car. If ever there was something to prove out the you can't do something without doing something else principle, it's this place. Because I was going to move the fair lane in order to go get Fergie to bring the 72 Mach 1 up to Studio B, which is where we do all of our filming. Except the path through which I need to bring Fergie is blocked in two directions. Over there is the Torino, and the Torino it's hard to start and it doesn't want to run most of the time and so I don't move it. Over here is the fair lane, which also doesn't want to start and is in the way of me moving it. And I have to get a battery charger, bring a battery charger out and then come back out here and anyway, I guess away we go. And then it suddenly hit me. I don't even know if that will start because I had it running the other day, but that doesn't mean that Fergalicious here, or Ferguson Tractor, will start because I want to use Fergie, that chain, to move the 72 Mach 1 up from where it's been sitting for a few months. So I guess we'll try starting it. Baby. Come here. Okay. Okay. What I need you to do is drive the Mach 1. <gasps> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. I love you, but it's not like that. You're just going to be kind of steering the Mach 1 while we go up the hill. And I'm pulling you along in Fergie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay? Yeah. I'm good. Are you excited? Yes. You ready to go? <laughs> All right. Let's do it. <laughs> let's go, Fergie.
<laughs> All right. Yeah, whatever, yeah. <laughs> ah, it's, that's scary. Now I gotta figure out how to get it from here, down the hill a little bit, and in that door. All right, so I have now kicked the missus out so I can roll this thing back down the hill because if I hit trees, it's one thing. She's gonna feel bad, but it's not gonna be as bad. If she hits trees, we're both gonna feel bad. She'll probably feel worse because she'll be responsible, if that makes sense. Here we are in the car. Shifting the door. I'm gonna push the clutch in and see if it'll roll, and it will. These cars are horrible for vision. Can't tell right where I'm at. Put some air in the tires to hopefully make this thing do a little bit better. I'm gonna put it back in gear and get out and see where I'm at. Not nearly as far back as I thought I was. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna roll the tires over the other way. Isn't this fun? Yeah. Get my workout though. Bye bye. I'm calling in reinforcements. Well, no, all you're doing is just kind of helping me a little bit. Can you push? Yeah. Should that be a maybe? I can't see. Is it, is it good? How far are we from the tree? Okay, that's good enough. It'd been a lot easier if we got this thing to run before doing this, but it is what it is. Okay. Now, I'm gonna get out of this thing. It's hot. Just enough extra. All right, come straight. There you go. Go a little bit this way, toward me. That's good, stop. Woo! Yes! <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's coming on this car. Now this video, quote unquote, doesn't count. It is an interim video. I am going out of town with my family for the weekend. So we are shooting this on a weekday, so we're not gonna get started into any meaty stuff right away. First video I'm going to do is try to get the power windows operational on this car. For some reason, my power windows don't work anymore. So we're gonna do a video on how to set it up for relays rather than running the Ford system that was in there. That is what it has now. But I'm pretty darn sure relays are going to solve a lot of the slow window problems we had on this thing. There's also a couple of new products out there that I've talked to Scott Halseth about at National Parts Depot. So we're going to be talking about those products and possibly installing them a little further on down the road. Uh, but that will be a sidebar video. The next big thing on this after the power windows is honestly going to be making the car run and drive for street use. We're gonna get the front eyebrows back on it, even though they're gonna be primed for right now, and get all the other stuff on here that needs to be on here to make the car a whole automobile. Running is our second big thing. That may consume a couple of weeks. I'm hoping it'll only consume one. I am a little concerned about the radiator in this car, so if any of you guys out there know a place that we can send this radiator off to to get the uh, core redone so we retain our tanks 
and our top and bottom pieces, which are factory original to this car. Let me know about it in the comments below. It's one of the reasons I'm kind of doing this. Also, is there anything that you guys with the 71 to 3 Mustangs want to see done to this car? I mean, we've already done a rear deck spoiler install. We've got the Ram air on the car already. So those are things that have already been done. But we want to know what it is that you'd like to see otherwise. We're looking at probably talking to the guys at National Parts Depot about doing the uh, interior components. I did some things back in the day that were just band-aids because that's all I could really afford to do. There are now parts out there like the center stack and both the driver's side instrument panel cover and the passenger side applique. All of those parts are available now. So we'll try to see if National Parts was wanting to get those in for review so we can review them and install them on the car to uh, kind of help improve the way the inside of this car looks. Because right now, what you can see when I'm showing you, that stuff's a little tatty looking. So that's something I'm going to be talking to them about as well. I'm also going to be probably going in and brightening up the bright work in the back, repolishing that stuff, making it look nice, getting that back in the car as a video along with a fresh carpet set. Uh, that'll all be on an interior refinish and refresh that we'll do here in the coming weeks. So that's it. That's what we've got for this thing. If you want to see other things, as I said before, please leave a comment in the section below. We do check those. There are times when I don't actually answer comments, but I would love for you guys to, to do that. Another thing I'd like for you to do is ring that bell for notifications. If you want to see these videos, ring the bell because if you subscribe, you're a subscriber, but you may not be getting the notifications. So do that as well. So folks, do me a favor, be kind to each other, love on each other, treat each other nice. You guys have a great week. We'll see you next time on Auto Resto Mod. It will be driving at the end of this. It may take six weeks, but it will be driving. Trust me on that.